It was a veritable who's who at the Perry National Fairgrounds as some of the most influential people in Georgia assembled to discuss the major concerns facing agriculture. Hosted by the Senate and House Ag Committee chairs, the Ag Issue Summit gave those in attendance a chance to hear from a variety of speakers. Georgia's ag industry is so diversified and, uh, and, and it's just a real uh, pleasure to get, to get everybody together in one room and, and one accord today and, and, uh, and see about these ag policy issues. Agriculture is the number one industry in Georgia and uh, like other industries in Georgia, have faced a lot of challenges through this pandemic and uh, other things. So we thought it was important to continue this tradition of getting together annually uh, and talking about uh, issues of interest to uh, not only the farmer, but agribusiness and the communities uh, surrounding that. And this event couldn't have come at a better time as farmers are dealing with an unprecedented number of difficulties on a daily basis. We want to keep Georgia agriculture growing and thriving and uh, in this challenging economy we got right now, we have a lot of rising prices, inflation, diesel fuel, uh, crop protection chemicals, all those type things farmers are dealing with uh, in addition to the weather. So just, just want to encourage and uh, make sure we all on the, on the right path. One of the big issues discussed each and every year is water usage. And thanks to a new program set to launch this year, farmers in South Georgia will be protected against drought conditions. We're just launching the uh, surface water to groundwater source conversion project down in the lower Flint River Basin. This particular project is going to allow us to go to our surface water irrigators in the lower Flint and offer them the opportunity to install a deep water, a deep aquifer, a uh, groundwater source that they could use during drought. That does two things, you know, it, it gives the farmer more uh, reliable access when things get really, really dry. But by removing those direct surface water withdrawals from the stream, it keeps water in the stream when we need it most during drought. Thanks to a record turnout of more than 300 people, the event had to be moved into the biggest room in order to accommodate the demand. It's that type of interest that shows the future of agriculture is a priority for everyone involved. Agriculture, despite the challenges we face, still has a very bright future, uh, and I'm glad to see uh, a lot of young farmers here today uh, that can take this information that they learned today back to their communities and, and talk with the uh, students and young farmers for the you know, next generation of producers out there. Reporting from Houston County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.